This might be the trickiest challenge you've ever seen, many students go wrong and many students don't know how can we solve this question correctly. It looks like a pretty easy challenge, we have 4 divided by 4 times 4 divided by 4. So welcome back to my channel Mathematics and in this video I'm going to fully explain you how we can solve this question correctly and, and step by step. First of all I suggest you to solve this question by yourself, right here we have 3 options, only 3 options, so it looks like a very easy challenge for us to, to choose our answers in the end of the video. So we have A, B and C, so choose one option, what do you think is a correct answer to this challenge and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video. So first of all I want to rewrite this challenge right here, so we have 4 divided by, by 4 times 4 divided by 4, ok, here's our challenge. And a lot of students solve this question like that, they say ok, we have division right here, 4 divided by 4 on the, from, le from left to right, uh, which is equal to 1, and we have 4 divided by 4 right here, which is equal to 1 as well, yeah, and with this multiplication in the middle we have 1 times 1, which is equal to, which is equal to 1. So a lot of students choose this option B, and they say that option B is absolutely correct answer to this question. But I want you to understand that in math we can't solve our question randomly, we can't solve this question chaotically, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Because if you start from multiplication in the middle, we have one answer, if you start from division, we have another answer, and a lot of a lot of combination, but in terms of math, we should know what is one and only one correct answer to this really interesting challenge. So first of all, let's rewrite this question, we have 4 divided by 4 times 4 divided by 4. And for this question, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, so right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC order of operation, ok? So let's do this. First of all, PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so first of all we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, then we should evaluate exponent, then we evaluate multiplication and division group, and the last step is, is addition and is addition and subtraction group, ok? So we should go through the steps from the top, from the top to the bottom, ok? So let's do this. The first step is parentheses, but as you can see right here we don't have any parentheses, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have any parentheses. What about exponent? So the next step is exponent, what about exponent? I don't see any of those, we don't have any exponent, so we just we just skip this part, we don't have any exponent, we don't have any parentheses, so as you can see we skip, or we already skipped these two parts. Ok, the next step, multiplication and division group, this is one common group in terms of mass, so we should find where do we have this multiplication and division signs, let's look at it. So division sign we have right here, we, we are interested in this, we have multiplication, we have division, so as you can see all the time we have this multiplication and division case. So multiplication we have, and we have we have division division part. And if we go a little bit further, we have the last step addition and subtraction according to PMDMC. But exactly on our challenge we don't have any addition and subtraction sign, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have any addition, we don't have any any subtraction. So we have only multiplication and division part. It is it is really great. And right now here is maybe the main question, what we should do at first? We should multiply at first, we should divide at first, how can we solve this, how can we find the correct order to do this problem? According to PMDMC, a correct order is from left hand side to right hand side, so we should scan what is the first sign from left to right, ok? This is really important moment in terms of math, so we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. We have left hand side right here, right hand side right here, so the first sign from left to right, it's not that hard, we can easily find this division sign, this is our first step, so 4 divided by 4 equal to, equal to 1. This is our first step to divide this 4 divided by 4, we have 1, but right now we don't divide this 4 divided by 4, we want to rewrite this right here, so times 4 divided by 4, we still have this a multiplication division part, and right now we should scan once more what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right is this multiplication in this case, this is not division as I told before, we divided 4 divided by 4. A correct order is to multiply it first, so we can, we should multiply 1 times 4, which is equal to 4, and the last step is this division, so 4 divided by 4, which is equal to which is equal to 1, ok? 4 divided by 4 equal to 1, this is option option B. And a lot of students confused about this solution because we have completely the same answer, right here we have 1, right here we have 1, and what is the correct answer, what is the correct solution? Because as you can see, correct answer is option B, but what is, the, uh, what is about a correct solution? What is the correct solution? This one or this one? And here's my answer. Of course this is a correct solution because we solved it according to a correct order of operation, and what about this solution? It looks like a correct solution also, but as you can see right here we, we do this 
in the wrong order. We divide right here and we jump from left to right. This is really big, big mistake in terms of math. If you want to get a correct answer one and a correct solution one, you should put parentheses. And then, okay, parentheses at first, right here, parentheses at first, right here, parentheses at, uh, as our second step, yeah? So, and then, then correct answer is B and a correct and a correct solution is B. Is a, and a, this is a correct solution. But according to exactly our challenge, a correct solution is this one and a correct so answer is is one. So it happens sometimes. Okay, so forget about this solution and just learn PMDMC. It's really good order of operation. And uh, when you faced with like a numerical expression, you will get better at this through practice. Okay, you you like PMDMC. Okay, we have expression PMDMC and we solve it step by step. So let's write our answer, cor correct answer to this challenge. This is option. Option B is a correct answer and correct solution is is this one. This is a correct solution. So thank you for your time. See you in the next videos. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment section about this order of operation, about this solution. And of course, write your suggestion about this question. What question you want to fill my channel? I have a lot of videos. But with that being said, see you in the next videos. Have a great day and wish you all the best.